Hey guys, it's Steven from Herpcare101, and today we're going to do a care video on Pac-Man's. Uh, right now, he's out of his burrow. So, oh, there he is. His name's Daryl. He's cute. Got him at the ham Hamburg Reptile Show. So, yeah, he's a good little guy. He's cute. Hasn't bitten me yet. So, what you're going to want is... A loose substrate. I have Eco Earth. Oh, and by the way, this is baby Pac Man frog care. Okay, because they require different care than the adults. So, you're going to want Eco Earth, plantation soil, something like that, something loose that they can burrow in. I suggest Eco Earth. It's the best kind. You can also use moss, but use moss at your own risk because they can't. Because moss can cause impaction, so I'm gonna get mine out like right after this video. Um, you can have a plant; they don't need it, but I suggest you do just for a little hiding spot. My guy made a little burrow right here next to the plant, so he seemed to enjoy it. You want a shallow water dish because they don't swim well. Um, uh, one's pretty shallow. So we keep that deep. So he can stand in it easily, be, poke his head out. Um, they don't need a background, but it's always a good idea to have one. Just because it makes them feel a little more secure, like they're at home. Uh, for heating, can't see it, but I have a heat mat under here. Uh, for five gallons, I believe. But I have a towel of, uh, over it, so that it doesn't burn his stomach or anything when he burrows. Uh, for the tank, I just have a uh, Nano here. I'm probably going to upgrade it when it gets bigger because they do need it. So for just a baby, they can live in a Nano for a while until they get bigger. Uh, speaking of which, the boys can get like 5 inches, the females 8 so they get pretty pretty big. They get fat too. Um yeah. Oh, I want to say that um they live about 10 years or so. And next for handling. Okay, so here I am handling him. Oh, there he goes upside down. <laughs> uh you can handle them, but they do get a little big, so it's kind of hard to when they get bigger. And one of the things you got to watch out for is you don't want to move your finger around in front of their face because they will bite you. And they are one of the only frogs with teeth. So it can be a little painful to a little kid. Um, another thing is, though, when you handle them and they bite you, you tend to flinch. And sometimes you flinch when they're like on your finger. And they will let go if you flinch in. That's how most Pac-Man frogs die. Uh, so yeah, you gotta watch out for that when you're handling them. That's about it for handling. They get a little harder to handle when they get bigger. So I'll just put them back in his little home. Uh, another one uh, thing I want to mention is their burrowing. They do burrow, so I kind of mentioned that with the substrate. But so when they do burrow. Uh, don't bother them when they're getting into it or when there's any crickets in the tank. There are a few crickets in my tank right now, so yeah, but um, when the crickets are first put in and they see that crickets are running around, don't try to handle them. They will think that your hand is a cricket. So thanks for watching and subscribe. Bye.